On the summit of Greenon Mountain in North Donegal is the fortress known as the Greenon of Alyuk, commanding breathtaking views over Loch Foyle, Loch Swilly and the surrounding countryside. The Great Stone Fort was constructed during the 8th or 9th century as the royal seat of the Kenail Nyogan, rulers of the ancient kingdom of Alyuk, which comprised much of northwest Ulster. The terraced dry stone built wall is up to 4 metres thick and 5 metres high, enclosing a circular area some 23 metres across. At the east is the entrance passage, the only way in or out of the great fort. Near the entrance and within the stone wall of the castle are narrow passages that were probably designed for hiding people and valuables if the fort came under attack. The fort did come under attack in 1101, when Wirtuk O'Brien led an army on a six-week expedition deep into Donegal. They headed for the Green on the seat of Donald MacLachlan, who refused to acknowledge Wirtuk as High King. Wirtuk reputedly destroyed the fortress when his soldiers each took a stone away with them as they headed back to Munster. The walls of the fort fell into ruin but were finally rebuilt in the 1870s by Dr. Walter Bernard of Derry. Once again, the Greenon stands proud on the summit of the mountain and is visible from much of the surrounding countryside as a continuing symbol of the power of the ancient kings of Northwest Ulster. However, what is not so well known is that under the heather that blankets the mountain top are the remains of an even larger fortification. In fact, as many as three concentric walls surround the stone castle of the Greenon and form part of a hill fort that dates back to prehistoric times, demonstrating that Greenon Mountain has been a symbol of political power in North Donegal for thousands of years. The Greenon of Alyuk is a national monument in state care since 1904 and is managed by the Office of Public Works.